Hip Hop International World Champs of 2015, 12th place in the 12th place in the world out of 81 crew. Yes, representing England all over the world. But to get tonight, holy man. Hello, I'm Tom. I'm 25 years old. I live in Blackhall, just outside of Hartlepool. And my full-time job is working at Nissan, up at the plant in Sunderland. I work mainly in the office, um, on the supply chain sort of thing. When I'm not doing that, I am dancing in the dance studio. I dance with a crew called Rough Diamond. We compete around the world and I also teach a lot there as well. And when I'm not doing all of that, I play guitar. That's my other secondary hobby, which I enjoy quite a lot. What would you say takes up most of your time out of those three things? Hmm, I'd say on a normal day to day it would be working at Nissan, however there's periods where the dancing probably takes up more time than anything else, so usually Nissan, but on odd occasions when the dance gets intense. I used to dance when I was really young um, in primary school and then I stopped for a lot of years because dancing wasn't really a thing that most people did, so I turned to football, cricket, the usual things. And I got into it again when I was 18, when I first went to university. Um, my main inspiration was Michael Jackson, just watching him dance. I went to uni to study law and criminology, which is something completely different to dance. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was something that I enjoyed at A level. It was, I was always interested in the way the law worked. I was interested in the police and whatnot. But the main thing that came out of uni was finding dance. And that really sort of came about because I was always interested in it. But I was always a really shy person who would not want to express himself so much. However, going to university, you go off to a new town with loads of people that you've never met before. It kind of gives you a chance to be whoever you want to be and not be shy so when I went to university and I stumbled across this dance society I just thought yeah why not like these don't know me these people don't know who I am so you told us that you studied law and criminology at university mm -hmm. obviously now you work at Nissan and then you dance a lot on the side and you play a little bit of music mm. I can't help but notice that law isn't in there anymore is, is a reason or yeah um i was really interested in the start i think it got to my third year and dance had started to become a big part of my life and i just wasn't sure that law was something that i wanted to do anymore it's a lot of reading and i'm not a great fan of reading and it's it's just it kind of fizzled out a bit but i got pushed to stick with it get the degree and then after that you can do whatever you want so really i graduated and i didn't really have any kind of you know, I didn't want to pursue it anymore. I was happy that I got my degree, good degree, but I really didn't want to do it. So I turned to dance and I focused more on that. And then the Nissan job came along, which is just the day-to-day -day job, which allows me a lot of time to focus on lot of aspects of life, such as dance. So yeah, it's kind of fizzled out. It still interests me, but I'm not really big into it anymore. I found an academy in Hartlepool called Urban Rocks Dance Academy. I started going there when I was 19 and from then I got into a crew and competed and battled in the freestyle aspect of it and then eventually I I got into the crew with Diamond. With Rough Diamond we've done a lot of performances, a lot of gigs around the UK, sort of paid work and whatnot and we also compete a lot so I've been to America twice to compete at the World Hip Hop Dance Championships. We went 2015 
and then we went again this year, 2017. I mean, first year we came 12th, and second year we came 7th, so that was improvement. Um, yeah, and I also teach as well now. So I'm involved in teaching a little crew called Shadows, who are all 12 and under. So I pass on what I've learned from them, and I also enter them into competitions as well. So they came second at UK Championships this year. So next year, I really want to take them to America and show them what I experienced with Rough Diamond. When we went to California, San Diego, two years ago, all the boys, we all said, we all said if we win, we're going to get a diamond tattoo. And obviously we didn't win, but some of the boys said we've done so well that we want to get tattoos anyways. I wasn't one of them people. Four of the boys got tattoos out of seven of us. And I kind of regretted it a little bit because it's just something that means quite a lot. So when we went this year, me and one of the other boys say, you know what? Yeah, we're getting a tattoo. So we both went and got one. So now there's six of us in the crew who have diamond tattoos. And they're really special to us and they remind us of everything that we've been through to get to where we are, all the hard work, all the dedication. And I really like it. And we've all got them different locations, different shadings, different styles. So they're all very personal to each of us, but they all still represent the same thing. So I think for all of us who have them, it's something that we can look at and go, yeah, that, that reminds me about a lot of hard work and a lot of positivity and yeah it's good that because it sounds like you don't regret making them choices like obviously dance has made it better for you mm. rather than being stuck in this heavily strict regime with mm. law yeah absolutely i mean the job i've got now is a good job well-paid job but it gives me the time that i need to do other things so i don't regret it at all um i think it's a really good decision i don't think i'd be where i was with dance if I had pursued the law, if I had went down the lawyer route or whatever, because that takes a lot of time and a lot of hard work. So if I did go down that, I think the dance side of it wouldn't be there as much as it is now. So I'm really glad that I've chose this way because I've, I've got so much to show for it and so much to be thankful for. <laughs> 